I'm gonna show you how to make a really cool herringbone pattern on your pie. Step one is you gotta roll out your dough really long. You need a, a surface of dough that's twice the size of your pie because they're gonna overlap. So what we've done is roll these out so it's gonna pie length in the middle and thinning out to the ends. So the first thing we're gonna do is lay the strips across the pie. Try to use the right size so the long ones in the middle and getting smaller. You don't wanna run out. Now the key to this pattern is that we're working in threes. Fold back the first three, skip three. Fold back the next three, skip three, and so on. Now we add our next strip, and the pattern of threes is gonna move down one row. So I'm gonna fold down two, three, four, skip three, fold back three, skip three. Next row, we're gonna skip another one. So I'm gonna fold down three, four, five, and so on, moving down. So each time you move the pattern of three down one row and add the next piece. Um, once you get good at it, you can kind of see that you could fold one back from one set of three and one down from one set of three instead of folding them all back every time. But if you're getting confused with the pattern, just stick with folding all three back and forth every time. So now that you've got this, you should see the pattern um, moving down one row as it goes across. Um, so you have all these patterns of three uh, covered pieces and three uncovered pieces and each time they move down one step. So you continue this way across the pie, shifting your pattern of three down one row every time till you get to the end of the pie. Now, once you've finished the first side, take a look at your pattern and make sure you've got it all. You should have a strip of um, three moving up across the pie, three uncovered ones as you go. So take a look at this pie, and as you go, you've got a pattern here of three, 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 three as you go. In order to continue this pattern, we need to first fold back three, four, five, and then continue doing the same thing, moving the pattern down a row every time as you go. So you just need to start in the right spot so that your turn continues in the same fashion. All that row of three moving up every time. So then you're gonna go through, keep adding these, shifting your row of three down every time, going back and forth. You can see at this point, I'm just folding one from each row back and forth. So I take one to the top and remove one from the bottom instead of folding them all back and forth every time. But again, if this is confusing, just continue folding back all three back and forth so you can keep an idea of the three. Uh, you continue this way till you get to the end of the pie. And then at the end, what I'm gonna do is check that all my patterns are right. Three, 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 three going across. Now, after we get to the end here, we're gonna trim all the way around the sides, making sure they're all around the same side and then tuck them underneath the bottom crust. Press down a rim and you're done.